can't believe you're mine Had a dream, but I heard your voice is This life is crazy If you follow me forever, I will come Links, there's always tomorrow Hi guys, I'm Tracy And for today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my favorite things while reading the Midnight Sun book by Stephanie Mayer. All of it was new for me, except for the centric story. And I don't know if it's because I started reading after the first book, so I didn't read the Twilight book. I read New Moon Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, bought the first, I never read till now. So maybe that's why some stuff are new to me. But if you want to know what I enjoyed the most about the book, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I really liked while reading the book was all the struggles that Edward went through about wanting to kill Bella for how good she smelled. All the theories he made. And I think the funniest thing was that he was so struggling for that that he ended up on a pile of snow hiding in the area where the Denali clan used to live. And by the way, there we get to learn, or at least I learned, how Tanya was actually really interested in Edward. Thing that I didn't think I noticed, like on the films wasn't shown, and on the other books it was never mentioned. Then again, Edward was all about Bella. So Edward has mentioned how Bella is like his personal brand of cocaine or a drug. But until this book, we learned that actually Emmett had found his on a woman and that he tried to resist, but he couldn't, so he ended up killing her. Also, we have the Collins discussing about Edward saving Bella and all that, and Alice sharing about her visions of how much Edward's going to be in love with Bella, so that's also like a cute little thing. Of though. course we see a little bit more of Stalker Edward <laughs> cause we love him but let's face it a guy that sneaks into your room to watch you sleep and hears you talking in your slumber is kind of creepy but I do find it kind of cute how moved and how excited he was when he heard Belle was calling out to him even in her dreams which is no surprise and I do love that in this book we get to see more bonding of Edward and Emmett. Like they go out and talk and Emmett it's all about like you're so overprotective of Bella, you're paranoid. And the cutest part is how together they plan to help Angela with this guy band that she likes. And they kind of pretend that Edward asked her out. So cute. We also have pretty cute moments with Edward and Esme, like for example them playing the piano and talking about Edward and about what he's feeling for Bella and how excited Esme is and she wants to meet her. And there's even a cute little memory of Edward and Caroline's first Christmas together and of course Edward is struggling, you know, wanting to feed but knowing he shouldn't. And he goes out, like, sort of distract himself. And when he comes home, Carl has a Christmas tree for him. And I thought that was, like, so sweet and so adorable. So Carl, I like, you know, loving, caring dad, even if he technically wasn't Edward's dad. I really like that. How Edward describes his first kiss with Bella is so poetic, so beautiful. But that I'm not going to totally spoil, so I'm just going to let it for you to read the book and find it. I think I read it like three times because it was just like so sweet and so beautiful. Also, well, Rosalie and Edward never see really much eye to eye. But we get to see through Edward's memory when Emmett was found by Rosalie, how hardened she was, how she begged Carla to save him, how Carla didn't get what she meant by save him. 
until Edward sort of explained it to him and how well Carla was doing his thing. He had his first and only real conversation with Rosalie, which was pretty cool. When we read about the first time that the columns met, Alice is also a very interesting and fun part, you know, because she obviously knew about them and that they would end up being family. I really could if I'm really fun the whole chasing James thing. On the movie we didn't see much. First book. I don't think Bella would know how much they did to chase him. But it was pretty funny, like how they were like on a car and then suddenly like move out of the car to chase him. Um how they were like chasing each other like through lakes and stuff like popping up surface and so on and so on and how after that um Emmett, Edward and Carlisle were like at an airport but they were trying to be like sneaky so fun and last but not least maybe because I'm a bit of a masochist but I really liked Edward seeing the tape that James made um, I thought it was like a really cool scene. Actually, almost all of these scenes I wish they would have happened in the movie, but of course they couldn't have fit all of that with the main story. And for me, it was a reveal because I didn't know that Alice was the one prey that got away from James. Though I'm pretty sure that has to be mentioned on the Twilight book because Bella's like the first to find out but since I haven't read it I just found out <laughs> and that will be all guys if you enjoy it please remember give a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you around I miss you more than life. Young blood thing.